Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. It says, Mrs. Ruchi's salary is rupees thirty-two thousand two hundred and fifty per month, exclusive of HRA. She donates rupees twelve thousand to Prime Minister's Relief Fund, hundred percent exemption. She donates rupees six thousand to a school and gets a relief of fifty percent. On this donation, she contributes rupees five thousand per month towards her provident fund. She pays quarterly premium of rupees twenty five hundred towards her LIC policy and invests rupees twenty five thousand in NSC. If rupees twenty seven hundred is the tax deducted each month from her salary for eleven months, find the tax deducted from her salary in the last month of the year. Let us now move on to the solution. Now the first step towards the solution is to write the gross annual income of the agency. So the annual income of Ruchi is equal to Rupees thirty two thousand two hundred and fifty into twelve because thirty two thousand two hundred and fifty is the monthly income of Ruchi. So to get the annual income, we are multiplying it with twelve to get the annual income, and this is equal to the annual income is rupees three lakh eighty seven thousand. Now. The second step is to find the donations made by Ruchi. So repeat on donations now we are given that she donates rupees twelve thousand to the Prime Minister Relief Fund. And gets hundred percent exemption. So this is equal to twelve thousand. She gets hundred percent exemption. So this is equal to rupees twelve thousand. And we are also given that she donates rupees six thousand to a school and gets. Relief of fifty percent on this donation. So this is equal to rupees three thousand, and here we have six thousand. So the total rebate on donation is rupees twelve thousand plus three thousand. That is rupees fifteen thousand. Now the next step is to find the savings made by Ruchi. We are given that. She pays rupees five thousand per month towards provident fund. So BF is rupees five thousand into twelve. That is rupees sixty thousand. And we are also given that she pays the life insurance premium. Of rupees twenty five hundred quarterly, so this is equal to rupees ten thousand annually, and she pays rupees twenty five thousand for NSC. So the total savings. 
is rupees sixty thousand plus ten thousand is seventy thousand seventy thousand plus twenty five thousand is ninety five thousand. Now the fourth step is to find the taxable income by subtracting the amount obtained in step two and three from the amount obtained in step one. So the taxable income is given by rupees three lakh eighty seven thousand minus. Fifteen thousand plus ninety five thousand Now the fifth step is the computation of income tax. For that, we need to obtain the taxable income, which is rupees three lakh eighty seven thousand minus one lakh ten thousand, and this is equal to rupees two lakh seventy seven thousand. Now, we'll calculate the income tax. Using this lab, now here the taxable income of Ruchi is rupees two lakh seventy seven thousand, and if the taxable income is above rupees two lakh seven fifty thousand, then the rate of tax is given by rupees twenty one thousand five hundred plus thirty percent of the amount by which the taxable income exceeds rupees two lakh fifty thousand. This is given by twenty one thousand five hundred plus thirty percent of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees two lakh fifty. So this is given by twenty one thousand plus thirty percent of the amount by which taxable income exceeds rupees two lakh fifty thousand. Now the taxable income is two lakh seventy seven thousand, and we have to subtract two lakh fifty thousand from two lakh seventy seven thousand. To get the amount which exceeds rupees, which exceeds the taxable income by two lakh fifty thousand, this is equal to twenty one thousand five hundred plus thirty by hundred into twenty seven thousand. This is equal to twenty one thousand five hundred plus thirteen to two seventy is eighty one hundred, and this is equal to rupees twenty nine thousand six hundred. So this is the computation of income tax. Now the next step is to find the education cess. An education cess is two percent of the amount of tax payable. So the education cess is equal to two percent of the tax payable. So this is equal to. Rupees five ninety two. 
Now we find the net tax payable and the payable income tax. which we obtained by adding the education cess to the income tax that is rupees 29600 plus 592 this is equal to rupees 30190 now we are given that rupees 2700 is deducted as tax each month from her salary for 11 months so the tax deducted at source is given by 2700 into 11 and this is equal to rupees Twenty nine thousand seven hundred. Now the income tax payable is rupees thirty thousand one ninety two, and tax deducted at source is rupees twenty nine thousand seven hundred. That is tax already paid for eleven months is rupees twenty nine thousand seven hundred. So the net. Payable income tax is given by rupees thirty thousand one ninety two minus twenty nine thousand seven hundred, and that is equal to rupees four ninety two. So the answer is rupees four ninety two. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.